Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to find the reference angle for negative 135 degrees. So the first step uh, when finding reference angles is to graph your actual angle. So let's do that. So here's our picture. And let's go ahead and label the important angles here. So this is 0 degrees. This would be uh, 90 degrees. This would be uh, 180 degrees. And this would be 270 degrees. Okay. So this is a negative angle, so you can also think of this as negative 90 degrees, right? If you go if you go counterclockwise, right? So boom, or rather clockwise. <laughs> the, the, the clock goes clock goes this way, right? Okay. Um, and so, in other words, to get to negative 135, that's going to be like over here, right? Because this would be negative 180 here. So this is negative 135. Okay, so because it's smaller than negative 90, but not smaller than negative 180, so we stop it here. So the reference angle is a positive angle always, and it basically connects two things. It connects the x-axis and it connects this, okay? So you just draw a positive angle connecting those two things. Boom, that's the reference angle, that's it. So what could this possibly be? How do we find it? Well, this whole distance here is, is 180, right, or negative 180. But it's a distance of 180. We've already traveled 135. So how much do we need uh, to go to get to 180 from 135? Well, you just subtract 180 minus 135. And I'm pretty sure I could do this in my head. If it was 180 minus 140, it'd be 40, right? So you just need five more, so it'd be 45 degrees. You can also use a calculator. So again, you just draw it, uh, and then just remember that this is the reference angle. It's this positive one, okay? I hope this video has been helpful.